Hi, today we're going to take a look at the Think Tank Airport International version 3, which is this trolley bag over here. So let's see what it can do. Over the years, we have tested numerous camera bags here on Nunsvid, but today we're going to take our first look at a professional rolling camera bag made by the California-based company Think Tank. Let's start by taking a look at the physical characteristics of the Airport International version 3. The bag itself is extremely well made. There is something in the material and the stitching of this bag that immediately caught our eye, and when holding the bag in the hand, you can feel how robust it really is. This thing is made to last. The bag is a little bit smaller than the Manfrotto Roller Bag 70 that we have been using for the past two years or so. The Roller Bag 70 is a great case, which we didn't really review, mostly because Manfrotto had announced a newer version back in Photokina 2016. The Think Tank will give you a little bit less room inside, but it is easier if you're taking it as a carry-on onto a plane, especially on smaller planes, which do not have a lot of room in their overhead compartments and on local flights. The bag weighs close to 5 kilograms or 11 pounds, a bit less if you remove some of the padding and the rain cover and measures 53 centimeters or 21 inches long, over 35 centimeters or 14 inches wide and 20 centimeters or 8 inches thick. It can hold up to a 500mm f4 lens without a body or 400mm f2.8 lens with one. Depending on the specific setup, you can fit in two full-frame bodies and about seven medium-sized lenses plus some accessories. Keep in mind that such a setup will likely bring you to well over 10 kilograms or 22 pounds, which can be over the max limit for carry-on for some airlines. The Airport International version 3 has several compartments and pockets. The front open pocket is made out of a stretchy material and you can use it to put a tablet, a laptop or a book for temporary storage if you don't want to open the laptop compartment. The laptop compartment itself is in the front, it is relatively lightly padded, but it has room for a large 15-inch laptop. Our 13-inch laptop had tons of room to spare tablet and some other thin accessories in a very organized way, including a nice see-through pocket with a zipper which can come in handy. On the top of the bag you can find a small pocket with an included security lock and a cable, useful if you want to tie your roller while taking a nap in an airport for example, certainly a nice touch. The side pocket can be used for a bottle of water or some documents, but also for a small tripod. For a large tripod, this bag comes with a dedicated solution, more on this in a second. The main gear compartment is where all the action takes place. It is extremely well padded and comes with a large number of dividers, some of which you might want to remove depending on your gear. On the cover of this compartment, you can find four other see-through pockets with zippers which we really love. One thing which seems to be missing is a holder for the cover which exists on the Manfrotto Roller Bag 70 and we actually find it useful. Before we talk a bit about our own experience with the bag, here are a few notes on some of the other components that make up this case. We'll start with the wheels. This bag has two very smooth, user-replaceable 3-inch wheels, in case they wear off and you want to replace them. The top and side carrying handles on this bag are super padded, much more than those on the Manfrotto bag, and you even have a thin handle on the other side which you don't get at all on the Manfrotto. The bag comes with a separate ring cover, it left us scratching our head a bit, but honestly we never had a real need for those, so this is probably why we are so clumsy with these things. As we have mentioned before, you can put a small tripod on the side pocket, but if you want to carry a full-size tripod, the bag comes with a dedicated carrying system. It is a great idea, but the one on the Vanguard Authorized 45 that we have reviewed here last year was better designed as it was part of the bag. Still, it is usable and better solution than the front-facing tripod carrying solution on the Manfrotto Roller Bag 70 in our opinion. The bag has a four-section aluminum telescopic handle which goes higher than the one on the Manfrotto despite being a shorter bag, it also feels a bit better made. Besides the lock with the cable on the top pocket, this bag also comes with a TSA lock on the side. We never used it, but it is nice to see so many security options. The Manfrotto has none, by the way. We have been using this bag on some of our commercial productions over the past several months now, alongside the Manfrotto Roller Bag 70 due to the amount of gear that we normally take with us. The bag functioned perfectly and we had no real issues with it. 
We really would like to see ThinkTag adding a holder for the cover and maybe making the tripod carrying solution a bit simpler to assemble. On the plus side, the carrying handles are fantastic and much more convenient to lift or carry up a flight of stairs with all the padding than the one on the Mafrodo bag. So let's sum things up. If you're looking for a high-end, durable, trolley camera bag to carry your expensive photo or video gear, you really can't go wrong with the Airport International version 3. This bag is compact, but still roomy enough for most setups. It is extremely well padded and very well made with lots of small but important touches like the dual security locks, strong tripod carrying system, and quite a few see-through zipped pockets for all your smaller accessories. There is very little not to like about this bag apart from the lack of a cover holder and the somewhat heavy weight which is a direct result of the extra padding. As for pricing, Jordi from Cinecom did a comprehensive comparison of 5 pro-level camera trolley bags which we published here a few months ago. Like us, Jordi found the Think Tank to be an all-around great bag, apart from the lack of a cover holder which we also mentioned, but the bag is also the most expensive, selling for just under $400, although both the Manfrotto and the Tenba bags were not too far behind at $380. So that was our look at the Airport International version 3 by Think Tank. You can read full review on lensway.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.